Hi, I'm Nick Kramer of Global Fixed Income Research at Standard & Poor's. After nearly facing their first month of losses in 2014, U.S. investment-grade corporate bonds managed to finish June in positive territory. Through the end of last week, they were facing losses for the month, but Monday's positive performance was enough to keep their winning streak alive, albeit at incredibly modest levels. Though small, investment-grade bonds saw returns of 0.12% in June, while speculative-grade bonds returned 0.89%. This marks the 10th straight month of positive returns for speculative-grade bonds. Additionally, U.S. equities saw larger monthly gains than bonds, with the S&P 500 index returning 1.91%. With a more subdued rate of return among investment-grade bonds in June, the S&P 500 index has nearly equaled their year-to-date performance. For the six months ended June 30th, the S&P 500 has returned 6.47%, only two-tenths of a percentage point lower than the 6.68% return for investment-grade bonds. Taking the more slow and steady course, speculative-grade bonds have now returned 5.53% so far this year. Speculative-grade bonds clearly outperformed investment-grade bonds at every rating level in June. Returns were negatively related to rating level, with the triple C to single C category seeing the largest monthly return at 1.01%, while the triple A to double A rating category remained essentially unchanged, with an increase of only eight thousandths of a percentage point. Though investment grade bonds saw little movement in June, the triple B rating category returned just over 0.2%, helping it maintain the highest year-to-date return of any rating category at 6.87%. Bond yields for all investment grade rating categories in both five and 10-year treasuries saw marked increases towards the beginning of June, but fell off nearly as sharply towards the end of the month. While remaining mostly within expectations, the Fed's statement following the FOMC meeting in the middle of the month did see a coincident increase in bond yields. However, these gains fell off almost immediately. Speculative grade industrial bond yields also saw a slight increase around the FOMC meeting but to a lesser extent. The large drop in yields towards the end of the month broadly coincided with the BEA's sharply revised downward revision for first quarter GDP, perhaps prompting some investors to anticipate either a more drawn out exit from quantitative easing or a delayed start to a rise in interest rates. As has been the case in recent years, Federal Reserve announcements can coincide with marked movements of daily bond market returns. While the June 18th announcement did precede bond losses, the effect was short-lived and the declines were smaller than those at the beginning of the month. A shift in the momentum for corporate bonds is likely to occur at some point in the next 12 months, though the exact timing is still unknown. With poor GDP figures, some concerns about rising inflation, and political discord ahead of the upcoming midterm elections, there is potential to see more bond market volatility in the coming months.